hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our villager house tutorial series this is mythical sausage how is everybody doing oh man we're back doing another tutorial and today we're gonna be jumping straight into that loom and making a really awesome shepherd house here in our plains biome village it's gonna be a lot of fun but before we get into it let me show you the village houses we've done so far and here we go with the farmer's house hanging out there right by the skeleton doing his thing farming i guess yep it's they're farming check out the fisherman over here in the little fishing hut hanging out outside on the boat i don't know how he got there but that's fine and there's the librarian oh they went out and they went back in they're, they're definitely reading some books in there trust me all right, and here we go with the dimension. So I wanted to go with something a little bit more diagonal, a little more fun, just to change it up, but keep the same block palette that we've been using so far, which is the regular oak log as our main foundation log. Then we're gonna be bringing in some spruce, some stripped, um, also some spruce stairs. The uh, inside part of the house, uh, we're gonna be mixing and matching some of the stripped oak and regular oak planks. And then we're going with some cobble, bricks, a little bit of gray uh, for the bottom here, just to give you a very cool foundation. So uh, we'll count out the blocks together and I'm gonna show you how to build this thing. So it's a full diagonal on both angles here. So this main structure is going to be a little bit taller. This one on the side is going to be a little bit shorter. And then out here is going to be where we're going to have our sheep pen out here, which is really, really cool. Then let's actually just start. Let's start on this corner. We're going to count out all these blocks together. Uh, so let's get this started. So let's actually start on this corner. And I'm going to go with uh, our oak log. And we're going to go up on this one at least by five to start out. So let's just go up right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then down here for now, I'm just going to use all cobble, but we're going to be mixing some stone and stone brick for texturing along the way. So for right now, let's go up. I'm going to take these up by two. So let's go up by two on these right here at a full diagonal. So just follow this diagonal line all the way down, just like that. Then over here right next to it, we're going to go up another five. So five right here. So between post to post is only three everywhere we go over here. So right here, we're going to go up again by two and then up by five right here. Then over here, we're taking this diagonal now this direction. So we're going one, two, three, and then up again by five on this corner right here. So, so far, so good, fully diagonal. Then here, we're gonna go one, two, three, and take it also up by two, just like that. And we'll knock out the, uh, the door in a second. I just want you to get all this up for now. Then again, right here, up again by five, still following the full diagonal. And then over here, again, one, two, three, up by two again, oh, right there. And then on this corner, up by five. Then we got this section again, one, two, three, all the way up, just like so. So we're setting that up beautifully. Then let's actually go right here on this edge, this corner right here. And we're gonna take this down. So let's take this down right here. One, two, three, following this line, fully diagonal. And then up here again, this was gonna be four though. Let's go one, two, three, and four right there. Then here, we're just gonna go one and two, up by two as well. Here, we're gonna go up right at the same diagonal, one, two, three, and four. So it's gonna be a little smaller than that one. And then right here, we're just gonna follow this line diagonal to this post, and we're gonna go one, two, and three. So it should look like this from this angle, and it should look like this from the top. Beautiful, okay, now, next up, just so you can know exactly where we're gonna be placing the little uh, fencing here for our sheep, from this line right here, we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. On this one, we're gonna go up and just take it up by two, one and two. Here, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right here on the seventh, up by two. And then from here to here is a one, two, three, four, just like that for now. So leave that there. We'll work out the fencing for that in a second. But for now, let's just worry about the house. But really quick, before we keep going, I'm gonna come back here and texture with a little bit of stone and a little bit of stone brick, just like this, just scattered around. All right, perfect. Everything is textured, looking really nice. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is let's pop up some of these um, of these oaks. So I'm gonna go up just with regular oak plank. We're gonna take it up by three on everything. So let's just do all up by three. Let's cover everything up in between post to post. Now that we have that set up, let's go back in here and give it a little bit of texturing by coming in and adding some of these strips, just like this in random spots. We'll add the windows and the doors and everything after. But for right now, just so you can get an idea, let's wrap this all around in some texturing. And there we go, we got that texture done. Now let's worry about this little section. For this one, we're just gonna take it up by two on all the sides, just like that. We're gonna take it up by two here and up by two here. Also give it a little bit of texture along the way. All right, now that we have that done, let's actually work on the roof pattern here. So for this one, we're gonna give it a nice mix and it's gonna look pretty rustic and broken down. So let's do it together. Every once in a while, we're gonna come in here with a slab or an upside down stair. So let's actually start right here on this corner. I'm gonna go with a uh, upside down stair right here. I'm gonna go with a slab on the outside. 
Let's do a stair facing this direction. Let's do a slab, a slab. Let's go with an upset down stair facing this direction. Let's go with another slab, upset down stair here, one over here, upset down facing this direction, and then a slab on that one. Then over here, we're gonna go with upside down stair, an upside down. Let's go with a slab, another upside down here. It's gonna go with a slab here, and let's go with an upside down stair facing this direction, like so. Now, let's skip this little part for now. We'll get to that in a second. But right now, let's go with another upside down right here. Slab, let's put a stair upside down here. Another one on this side, another slab here. Let's go with an upside down, an upside down, a slab, and an upside down facing this way. Now it's all optional, <laughs> how I put it. Just like this, you guys can mix and match how you like. If you wanna put it exactly how I did it, just like that, just totally randomized. Now, next up, let's work on the next bit. Now for this part, I'm gonna go with uh, just some full blocks. We're gonna go with full blocks going all the way down right here at this level. Going all the way down from one side to the next, following that diagonal. Let's also do the same thing right here. Going all the way down, following that diagonal, just like so. Then, this is what we're gonna do. Let's go on the inside parts and just add mixtures of slabs and stairs. So, I'm gonna go with, actually, right here, let's go with an upside down stair. Let's go with a slab, slab. Let's put an upside down facing this way, one that direction. Let's go with a slab. Upside down stair facing this direction and another one facing that direction. So it's all random. So let's go with another upside down stair, another upside down facing this way. Let's go with a double slab here, upside down stair, slab, upside down stair this way, and an upside down stair this way. So totally randomized. Again, it's up to you guys how you want to set that up. That is perfect though, just like that. Now from this side, let's just go with only upside down stairs going all the way down right at this level. And let's do the same thing over here. Now it's only slabs going all the way down. Just like that. Then next up, let's just come back in with slabs and go all the way down like so. And then back this way, all the way down with slabs like so. Then next up is only slabs now. So we're going slabs in the middle and then slabs again in this middle. And don't worry that it's kind of inching its way inward. We're gonna play around with that now. So all the way down, slabs like this. And again, we're going back inside, all the way down with slabs here, all the way down uh, with slabs right here. We're going with slabs in the middle, and it keeps getting smaller and smaller, and now we're going with slabs in the middle right here. So it should end up with five slabs in the center, just like so. And this is what it should look like from the top. Look at that. Pretty cool design. Now, uh, we're just going to fix this little part right here and add the detail to that. So really simple. We're just going to go with full blocks here. One, two, and three. Then we're going to come on the inside here and put a slab here, slab here, and a slab in the center, giving you that little slope going up. And let's repeat it over here on this side. So we're going to go one, two, three. Slab here, here, and then one in the center. And this is one style of, of diagonal roof you can work on. There's so many other ones, but I kind of like this one. It makes it look a little bit more like a little shack, which is really awesome. But we are gonna break this up. We're gonna make it look a little better. But for right now, that's looking pretty good. Now, what I'm gonna do is this smaller roof here. So we're gonna go with the same design uh, that we've been doing down here. So let's add some slabs. Let's add some upside down stairs, one this way. Let's add a slab here, upside down stair here. Let's go with a slab. Let's go with an upside down stair on this side, one on this side, slab in the center. Let's go with an upside down stair there, slab in this corner. Let's go with a slab, upside down stair, and a slab right there. And then let's start connecting, just like we did last time. So right here on the top, we're gonna go with four blocks. So one, two, three, four, connecting right to the edge. One, two, three, four, connecting right to that edge. And then we're gonna just take it up a little at a time, like we did last time. So we're gonna go with a couple upside down stairs, go with an upside down here. Slab, upside down, upside down. Let's go with an upside down here. Let's go with a couple slabs and an upside down facing that direction. Then we're gonna go again, but now with slabs. So slab all the way down here. Slabs going down this direction. Let's slab the inside part. Oh, hold on, let's fix that. Let's slab the inside part here, here, and here. And then the same thing on this side. So one, two, and three. Then we're gonna come up here, add more slabs. So one, two, three as you connect to that, and then one, two, three, just like so. Let's fill in those gaps, and then let's put slabs up here, one, two, and three. So it's just a smaller version of what we did over there. And then let's do exactly what we did here, but in a smaller scale, just with some full blocks 
and a slab right in the center. All right, now that we have this part done, let's add some more details to strengthen the base here on the bottom. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let's grab some logs. Let's wrap them around every one of these logs that we have here already, and then place some spruce stairs facing inwards towards the log. So let's do it all the way around, going around like this. Let's put our stairs going down like so. Here, we're gonna go ahead and one on each side, stair here, stair here. Then after this, we're gonna be adding some windows and I'm gonna give you a cool little idea for a step up to get inside the house because we're gonna elevate this at least by one. So this is gonna go all the way around like so. This is gonna be all the way around like this. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one around. And then once we're done with this, I'll show you what to do next. So we're gonna wrap this one as well and we're ready to go. So stair, stair, stair. So all of these should look like this right now, all the way around. All right, now let's work on this front door. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually let's knock these two down right here. So it'll be a real little front door entrance, but I wanna give it like a little bit of an overhang. So right here, let's grab this log. From this section, we're going one, two, and three. Let's drop a log right here. Uh, and then what I wanna do is let's grab some of our uh, spruce slabs and go down one, two, and one more here. Let's drop two here and two here so you can get in from any direction and i want to get rid of this one and let's make that into a full block so that'll be our way in then right here i want to lift up this log one more time let's grab a fence post i'm going to put a spruce fence here one and two and then let's grab our campfire blocks i'm going to go down here one two three let's go down this way one and two and one here and actually i want to get rid of this block and go one more here on the side just so it can go all the way down Let's distinguish this real fast. There we go, so it should look like this. And then let's grab our fence gates and go down one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Uh, one thing I wanna do, I wanna actually replace this block. So let's actually replace that with a full block. And then over here, I wanna get rid of this block here and just put a, uh, a spruce on that side, just so you can change it up a little bit. Then, you know what I wanna do now? I really wanna mess with this roof a little bit. So it's all up to you guys if you wanna do this. I wanna make it look a little bit more rustic and, and ruin and run down. And there you have it. Just a little bit of a roughening up job here. Adding some stairs, some extra slabs, extra full blocks, trap doors on the top. Just brings out the detail in this thing, even though it was way detailed already to start with. But it just makes your roof a little bit more unique and nice. But we're going to add even more stuff to it. So next thing we want to do is add some windows. So I'm thinking about a window right here on this corner. Uh, so I'm just going to put a single window right there. We're just going to get regular glass. Uh, the full blocks, uh, you can go with any color. I'm just going to go with, uh, let's actually go with some light gray. I really do like this glass. So let's go ahead and put that light gray right there. And then to add even more details, we can put some trap doors on each side, just like so, just to break it up. It looks like little shutters that can sh shut in the light. Uh, we're also gonna go with one more over here and let's do the same thing with our trap doors. So one here and one on the side. And that's looking really, really awesome. Now over here, let's add one more. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Let's go with our full block and then add our trap doors, one on each side facing these directions like that. Now for this one, I'm not gonna go with really any windows right there, but what I am gonna do, I'm gonna add a little chimney, a little fireplace right to the center. So let's start this right now. So I'm gonna put it right here. Let's just take our, let's do it with uh, cobble for now. So I'm just gonna go right in this corner. One, two, three, four. Let's break these two off. So five, six. I'm gonna go on the inside at a, a diagonal right here on the inside part. And then let's take this up another one, two, three, and that's it. Just an extra three. I'm gonna put a campfire block on the top. We got one right here. Let's drop this on the top. And then I'm gonna surround these in, not those, in trap doors going all the way around just like this. And then we're gonna give it a little bit of texturing just like we did over here by adding some stone bricks. And it's gonna look just like that. Then let's actually give a little bit more detail on the bottom. So what if we take this out right here? One extra one, an extra two. And then here we're gonna grab some stairs and I'm gonna give it a mix also of our cobble and a little bit of our stone brick. So let's put a stair here, let's put a stair there. And then I'm gonna come on this side, let's take it another one up, and then let's go with another stair right on this side. So just like this, giving you that detail, but this one looks like it's a little bit too high, right? So what if we take that down and then let's put a slab. So it's just a little bit smaller right on, let's actually grab some cobble slabs. It's a little different. Uh, from the texture we have underneath it, and there we go. All right, now that we're here, I wanna add a little bit more of an overhang just so the sheep have a spot to hang out. In case it's raining, I don't wanna cover the whole thing up, but I wanna cover at least a small lining from this side to this side, just to keep this theme we have going with this little overhang. So let's do this. I'm actually gonna go right here on the same edge this is at, and let's go ahead and drop campfire. So right here on the side, one, 
uh, oh, this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should connect to that. I'm gonna get rid of this little bit and just take this down right here at this edge. So this could actually go all the way down, even to that back corner. So it gives us that little cover right there. And then let me extinguish this real fast. There we go. So it should cover that bit up lovely. And then we'll come back here with the gates and take this one all the way down from that side to that side. It should give a little bit of cover right here. It's not a lot, but enough. So in case it's raining, the sheep can hide right underneath that little bit right there, which is really, really cool. If you wanted to, we can actually maybe even get rid of this. And then let's come in here with some trap doors and take it all the way down and get one more little bit of extension. And this can actually take it all the way down to right there. We can actually go underneath here and put a slab just to match that one uh, and it should be just fine uh, we could keep going if you want you can keep it going all the way down like this and then we can keep this going all the way down this direction just like so and that should overhang here this should keep going down and then right from this one if we want to take this out we can go ahead and take this extend this all the way down so it goes all the way down to here but then it'll look a little weird so what we could do is maybe put a stair like that and it's not such um, a big difference connecting that bit. So this can roll around all the way around like this. If you want, we can even put some upside down stairs on these if you want to give it a little bit more support. Oh, one little slight addition. I think if we extend this one more, just to continue with this theme we have here, check this out. We're going to put one more right here on the side, one more campfire, extinguish that. Take this all the way down and then we can connect perfect to the other edge. And it should look like this from the top. And I think that nails it just perfectly right there look how cool all right now let's enclose the sheep inside so one small thing that i want to do now that we did this cool little extension bit i want to take this log one more to the left so we can match it right to this and this one's already perfectly matched to that so why don't we do this let's take this down one more put it right here in front of this section so technically we have one two three four five six seven and i got rid of the the little spots we had underneath that was just like a marker to show you how far it is from each section now, next thing I'm gonna do is grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put one on top of each exposed log. And then we're gonna grab some fences and some gates. Oh, I had it right on me right here. So let's go with a fence and a fence. Let's go with a fence and a fence on each side, gates in between. Let's go with a fence on each side. Let's go two and two. And then right in the center, we're gonna go gate, gate, and gate, just like this. All right, the house is actually completely done, ready to go, but I'm gonna show you how to terraform the outside, how to make it look a little bit more alive, a little bit more lived in. And uh, before we do that, let's do one quick modification. See that little tiny little oak piece? Let's get rid of that. Let's take that down one more, uh, just so we can match what we did kind of on this side, just to not show that uh, piece of oak. So let's take a quick little spin around. It should look really, really nice, just like this, all the way around. All right, now let's work on this front door. Super simple. I'm going to put two doors, actually. I'm going to put one here and one here facing on the inside so they all open like so, and they close up just like that. Looking pretty cool. Then, let's go on the inside. I'm going to fill this whole thing up with some spruce planks. So let's go ahead and add this real quick. All right, and the floor should look like this. Super simple, but really nice. For right now, it's looking awesome. Now, put some lights here on the top corners of each side, front and back. Uh, you can also put them anywhere here. And then we can mess with the ceiling a little bit, but let's do that last. For right now, I wanna do a little room separation. So I'm thinking right here between this beam and this beam, we can cut it in half and then go right here in the middle with, um, just go with some of these uh, lovely old blocks. So let's leave the middle one open so we can cross through. And then the rest, we can go one, two, three, four to the top, one, two, three, four. That should take this all the way up to the tippy top. We should cover that up get rid of these two and then here we could just go ahead and just texture a little bit with some plank something simple like that that's looking awesome so we have a way in right here now for this one i'm going to also put a little bit of a door uh so let's grab this door right here and we could either put them on the inside or the outside i think right here should be perfect then right here we can add an upside down stair on each side let's put a trap door in the middle and then one on each side of those stairs leaving this little parts open but this gives you a cool little shelving design now over here this will be where our fireplace is going to go a little kitchen area so right here i'm going to grab some furnace and use the furnace because if you use the blast furnace or the smoker um you're going to be getting other villagers so let's go with two of our regular furnace here i'm going to go with an upside down stair here i'm going to take that down one more time and then here i'm going to go with full block a full block Let's go with the stair facing up, uh, well, down, another one facing down, and then three, actually, let's go with three upside downs here. So this one in the middle, you're not going to need that. So let's go right here, just like so. I'm going to block this off right here to the top, and let's actually get rid of that little bit. So just like that gives us a cool fireplace. Now, one thing that I am going to do is let's texture this just a little bit with some smooth stones and some regular old bricks. 
there we go. So it should look like this for a little fireplace. And then up here, we can add a bunch of extra random storage. So on the top here, we can add barrels and chests and stuff like that. I wouldn't add barrels, so it does make another kind of villager. So let's just randomly scatter uh, some chests. Let's put a chest back here. Uh, let's actually get some bushes. Why don't we put some oak uh, bushes up here? A little bit of a planter action, kind of going all the way around like so. And then um, that looks pretty awesome. How about we add also uh, some sea pickles. We can add some, um, maybe some flower pots here as well. So let's grab that and then let's add some random flowers. There we go. So the top should look like that. That is looking really, really awesome. Now, another thing we could do is I did put this a little bit here because I want to put a little um, actual planters. So I'm going to be using these. Let's put one here and one on this side. I'm going to add the flower box uh, with a flower pot. Put a flower pot right here. Let's grab a bamboo and let's also add a different kind of bush. Let's go with our birch leaves, which look really, really awesome in here. And it went away. Right, let's put it back. Hello. There we go. Let's put a bamboo on each and then a birch leaf on top. Let's put one and one. So it looks like that. A little bit of a flower pot on both sides, which looks really, really awesome. This one actually looks, might look out of place. So let's actually take that out. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, just like that. So it gives a little bit more life. Let's actually drop a painting in here. Let's grab our paintings and I'm gonna add one, let's add one right here on the top. And then over here, I wanna add like a little seating area. So for this one, let's make it simple. Let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with some dark oak stairs this time. I'm gonna put one on this side facing inwards and one on this corner. And then right here, I'm gonna add, is that a crafting bench? And we can use this as a tabletop right there. Uh, back here, I can just leave that clean over here. We can add maybe a little bit more shelving, maybe a little trapdoor here and a chest on top, just like so. And then right here, let's add some signs. I'm gonna go with spruce signs. Let's put one on this side and then one on this side. So this looks super awesome as you come on in, just like that. And then to texture the ground here, why don't we go ahead and give a little bit of our strip log and let's randomly scatter a little bit just to change up the flooring here a little bit. Let's actually get rid of that, that's fine. And let's put that door back right there. Open it up and it looks really, really cool, just like this. Now over here, I'm gonna add a small little armor stand and there's gonna be like a little bit of a hat rack or something like that. Uh, let's drop this on the top, just like so. Beautiful. And then maybe one more painting uh, right up on this side would look pretty good. And that looks great. Maybe also adding a little bit of a carpet here. This has some great carpet. Why not? Just right here in front of the fireplace. That looks really, really good. Now for the bedroom. Let's add, actually, I'm going to do two beds for two different shepherds. So I'm going to put one here. Boom. And let's actually add another one right over here. Let's actually push up up against the wall so it's a little more space to work with. So one here and one here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a trapdoor. So let's grab a trapdoor we had here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of shelving up here, even though, you know, it's, they can't access it, but it looks pretty cool. So a couple chests right here. Uh, let's actually add another one right here. So it's just for looks since we can't put anything in there, but it looks really cool. So something like that. Then I'm going to come back in here and add those flower boxes that we did last time. So let's put one on this side. One on this side, let's add our flower pots here, one on this and one on this. Grab our bamboo again, and then also grab our bush. So I'm gonna grab the birch leaf, and let's go one here, here, and then this one is make a little bit taller, so it's gonna be the double talls. That looks really, really awesome. Uh, this time I'm gonna leave it clean and open, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now we do need the profession block, so let's do two looms. Let's put a loom here, and let's put a loom here. Now we can put them any direction. We could put them this side or we could put them this side. It really doesn't matter. Let's put one in each direction so it could look a little different. And then over here, I'm gonna put some banners and stuff like that. So um, again, the loom is good for banners. You can make banners out of them. So I'm gonna leave a couple here, kind of placed up here for them to use. Uh, maybe a couple scattered in random places, just like that. Uh, and it should look maybe something like that, just randomly scattered. Uh, we can add a little bit more detail here by adding some more of the trap doors and more of the chests for more details right there. That looks perfect. Then I can also add some more paintings. Let's go with the one on this side, it's too big. Uh, let's put one here, that's fine. And then one of those, that's perfect. Uh, and we're looking pretty good. What if we also come in here and add a little bit more of the texturing here with the flooring? It could look a little bit better. And then maybe add a little bit of carpet. Uh, let's add some red carpet here. Any color would do, but a little bit of carpet right here would look pretty nice. Just scattered on that corner. It looks a little bit better while you sit down and you're about to go to sleep. Uh, and I think we're good. Only thing I would add now would be a little bit more detail to the ceiling by coming in here and roughening it up uh, in certain spots, maybe something like this. Yeah, just random areas around like so. We'll just rough in the area up like that. That looks awesome. We can also do a little bit here. So since it's rough on the outside, 
why not roughen it up on the inside? So something like this just adds just a little bit more that wasn't there before. So something like that, and we're good to go. I think we're set. And that is it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. This was a lot of fun to make, especially a diagonal. I haven't done one in quite a while. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and you learned a little bit how to make a really cool diagonal build. I added all these cool trees and life around the area. So it's looking really, really awesome. Let me know down below so far, which has been your favorite build out of all these villager houses that we've made so far. And let me know what you want to see next. What should we do next? Should we do the, uh, the, the furnace, the blast furnace? Should we do um, maybe uh, the cleric? Maybe we could do a little church or something like that. I don't know. Let me know down below what do you want to see next. And at the end, we're going to do a really cool showcase of everything. We're going to do a world download. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then on to the next biome. What do you guys want to see in another biome? Let me know also in the comment section. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.